Welcome to initial testing of the low voltage disconnect that I've uh, been working on for the last hour, maybe. I literally just got some of the essential pieces in the mail. So I've got the car turned on. This is in a Prius Prime. And you can see I've got a voltmeter in the ZSS. Uh, it's 14.1 to 14.2 volts. Here we got it in the light socket, 14.2. So those pretty much agree. I've also got a voltmeter here that I measured at various points and it agrees with all this stuff. I noticed that the uh, low voltage disconnect shows a value that's about typically 0.4 value. Uh, 0.35 or so, maybe 0.35 to 0.4 volts low. And right now, just for testing, I'm going to turn the car off just to showcase how this works. So I've turned the car off, and we're going to watch this voltage go down. Um, so I've got the low voltage disconnect set to well first off to display it and obviously the super safe <laughs> without a case or anything on it um, but you hit this left button and it shows what the disconnect is so that's 12.0 and then it goes back to showing the actual voltage which I explained is about showing 0.4 volts low but anyway um, and then there's what's called a hysteresis value. So I already showed 12.0 is where it'll disconnect. Once it disconnects, it'll have to hit 0.5 volts higher, so 12.5, for it to reconnect. So that's it. You show that by hitting the right button. To change either of those, you long press the button. I'm not going to show that right now because I've already set the values for testing. But I've got it set to 12 volts such that when this hits 12.0, that light will turn off because it'll disconnect power. And then the ZSS uh, and the Panda will turn off too. We're getting pretty close to that point. So let's get them both in frame. Once the relay, once this, uh, yep, it just hit the relay. So the, the relay turned off, the ZSS turned off, the Panda turned off. And because with, without that extra draw, now the voltage goes up a tiny bit. That's why you have this hysteresis value. Uh, so the hysteresis, once again, is set to 0.5. So this would have to show 12.5 volts to the disconnect board for it to start providing voltage again. So I'm going to get both items back in frame. I'm going to start the car and you can see, start it up. No errors. This is all using the Black Panda comma harness setup. Uh, my um, Eon is right now a little bit ghetto in a uh, halfway state. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll package all this up nicely in a SLA 3D printed enclosure. I'll set the values to something reasonable. Uh, actual voltage disconnect will be something around uh, maybe 11.2 or 3 uh, and a reconnect um, it'll be like 0.5 or 0.6 uh, 
hysteresis higher or so. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, you guys can always change it to whatever you want. And uh, I'll make a notation somewhere for each module what the, what I found the uh, discrepancy to be. Like I said, this one is 0.4 volt discrepancy. And that's that. Thanks for watching.